So the PS5 Pro is $699. And that's not even with the disc version. This version is only the digital version, and you need to buy the disc separately. So it's what? $700 and something dollars. Then with tax, it's probably be close to $800. And then you gotta pay for online. Lord have mercy. The online went up, right? It's like $80 a year or something like this. Used to be $60, now it was $80 or $70 a year. That shit went up. And then you gotta pay the games. Bro, that's damn near $900 and something dollars for a PS5 Pro. Because games went up too. What? Games is what? Um, $75 now? Like, bro, this is insane. This is insane for a goddamn console. Let me tell y'all something. Hold on, hold on in console gamers. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all care about 4K, uh, playing at high resolutions, let me, let me talk about 4K for a minute. The PS5 Pro is not about to run no damn 4K. Because if PCs can barely run 4K, okay. Well, I think you need, I think you need like a high-end rig to run 4K at a smooth frame, right? smooth little frame even then 4k is still pretty pretty goddamn intensive man so i don't think a damn 700 console or 699 console if you want to be specific right on point 699 console is not about running down 4k then and, and another thing before before i even move on to the frame rates these, ain't these motherfuckers saying the, the regular ps5 they had 8k on the box 8k 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 on the box? Bro, hey bro, not even a damn PC can run 8K. 8K on the damn box. Did, did they remove that shit? They removed that on the newer boxes on the PS5, the 8K symbol? I don't I don't know why you put that on the box. That's just fucking lying, bro. I, I don't I don't know what Sony's doing, bro. Sony's getting a big ass head. They're acting like the PS3 era when they're trying to sell the PS3 for what, $600 or something like that or $500. It was something just overpriced and shit. And then the frames. But well, let me tell y'all something, bro. Console games. If y'all care about high ass frames, 100, 120 frames, 60, a lock 60 frames, just get it. Just go ahead. And come on over. Right? Come on over to PC. Just come on over to PC. You can get a 2060 Super. Uh, for 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 like, for like damn near um, what for the low? They be two something. 2062 for, for like 200 and something dollars, maybe even 100 and something dollars if you want to go use. You can play a lock 60, maybe even, I think, I think even 2062, maybe you can hit 100, 100 and something frames with certain games. But you might need to drop down to settings though. But um, you get a 2060 Super, you can get a 3060, you know, 3060 Ti. Now if you want to go big baller, go ahead and get a, like a, a 3070, 3080, you know, you get a 3080, you can run a run 2k at 100 high ass frames you know but that's that's a little bit you know 38 a little bit too expensive you know 37 a little bit too expensive it's over it's over the uh over the 700 dollar range you might want to go to 2060 the 20 series uh 26 is little era you know what i'm saying you know what let's go ahead and add it right now let's go ahead and add this shit right now so if you're gonna get the ps5 pro the ps5 pro is 699 okay so we got that. Then, you know, console gamers love their online. They love to play online. Um, I'm going to go with the cheapest tier because I don't think a lot of people are buying the premium and the extra. I don't think they're paying for that. They, they want the lowest tier. They want to play that. They want to play that 2K. They want to play that, 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 that little, little, little FIFA. You know what I'm saying? The little FIFA. They want to play the, the, um, the Call of Duty and shit. You know, they want to play online. And I don't think console gamers are paying about a month. I think they're going for the full year. So seven nine and nine. Okay, we got eight hundred fifty three ninety nine cents. Okay, we got the games. Okay, you know, come to gamers. They don't do research, right? These motherfuckers don't do research. They 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 watch trailers and they be saying, "Oh shit, that's a cold ass gameplay," even though they show no type of gameplay inside the trailer. So they 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 fall for the hype and shit. They buy them broken ass games. So seventy five dollars right there. Okay, full price seventy five dollars. You know, well, it's sixty nine, but plus the tax seventy five dollars. Okay, we got eight hundred and fifty three. 99 cents. Okay, okay. Now we gotta. How much is the damn disc, right? The disc is sold separately. We still got our physical people out in the world. So if you want to buy the disc, how much is the disc? I don't know. I gotta Google it. Let's go ahead and Google it. Uh, PS5 Pro disc, disc, disc drive. How much is that? $79? What the fuck? 
Bro, that's all. What the hell? Oh my god. I, I was not expecting $79 for a damn disc drive. Well, it says PS5 disc drive. Uh, is, does, is this the same thing? I don't know. I don't know how much a disc drive is costing. Maybe it's the same thing. So we're going to go with the same thing. $79.99. Let's go ahead with it. $79.99. All right. The total is $933.98. Let me repeat that for you motherfuckers in the bike, right? $933.98. Bro, okay. At this point, for an extra, what, extra maybe $300, $200, you might as well come on over. Come on over to PC land. Might as well come over to PC land, right? Because at this price point, at this price point, $933.98. For that price point, you might as well save up the little extra 200 save up the extra 300 dollars and come on over. Come on over to the PC Master Race because even bro, even with 900 and something dollars, you still get a damn decent PC that runs at 1080p at high frames, bro. Or if you want to go budget, right? If you want to go budget, you go ahead and get your Glock 60 at 1080p, bro. And you still have a better experience on a way better experience than console gamers, bro. Or if you really want to take it there, bro, you can get a gaming laptop. A gaming laptop. And now, and I, and I can speak on this topic because I got a gaming laptop. And my shit, boy, I ain't going to get on my shit, bro. Because my shit be pushing them frames, you feel me? My shit be pushing them frames, man. That freaking uh, 1440p, 2K, 120 FPS. My experience is way better than your shit ass console, bro. Y'all be talking down on them laptops. Saying them laptops be overheating, boiling and shit. But my, my temps... And I check my temp regularly. My laptop temps never exceed 70, buddy. When I'm playing the newer game. But I, I play a lot of old games. So my shit be like in the fitness. 40s and shit. But when I do play the newer games. My shit never goes over 70 fucking degrees. So. That's, but that's, I'm going on a tangent. That's besides the point. This is ridiculous for a goddamn PS5 Pro. I don't know what Sony doing. I don't know if they smoking some damn spice. I don't know if they lacing their blunts with something. I don't know if they're dipping that shit in lean and they have to, and they have a way to sleep. I don't know what they're doing, but please, console gamers, stay the fuck away from this.